Namaste everyone. Thank you very much first of all for checking out this video. In this one, I'm going to show you this beautiful and amazing web application I have uh, developed using Django. So this is the code which uh, is working behind uh, that particular web application and how it works let me first show you that before uh, telling you about the code I have used for developing it. Now uh, if a person wants to register himself on this website he just have to click here on register and it will redirect that person to this particular page where he can put his username then he can put his email address and then he can key in his password and once he's done with that he can click sign up for creating his profile now once he's done with creating his profile he will automatically be redirected to this login page now here he can key in his login credentials so i've already created a dummy account on this one let me quickly log in and show you the inside of this web application so this is how the web application uh, you know looks from inside and you know these are all the posts which different people have posted on uh, the website so this post is by new user 3 uh, this post is by rahul and you know the photograph is also coming here now if i have to change something in my profile i can simply come on this profile option and it will redirect it has redirected me to this page where i can see my username email address and my photographs link okay let's change the photograph so uh, i need to select a new photograph from here and let us go with this one and if I'll just click this update button, let's see what's going to happen. So you can see here, my photograph has been updated successfully. And I can see a message also getting reflected right on the top, which says your account has been updated. Likewise, I can update my username, my email address. Let's see whether this photograph is getting reflected on the home page or not. So yes, we have this photograph over here also on this home page. Earlier, my photograph was getting reflected. Now the photo which I just uploaded, it is getting reflected uh, everywhere. So let me just select the one which I generally use for all my applications. Yeah, so this is the one. Right now, if I have to create a new post and post it on this website, so I can simply click here on new post and let us uh, just write here something. So uh, update it. Okay. Let's make it new revolution industrial revolution uh, dummy data. So uh, that's where uh, you can put the title and that's where you can put the content. You want to go with the title and then for posting it, you can simply hit this post button and okay so i've updated the post successfully and it has redirected me to this uh, you know page where i'm able to see the post which i just uploaded on this website now if i uh, if i'll go on my home page i can see here uh, the new post you know which i just created in front of you all so this is how this website works and if I have to suppose delete any post or if I have to check the post I have posted on this website so I can simply click on my name here and it is going to redirect me to a page where I'll be able to see uh, the number of posts I have made uh, you know who has made the post and all my posts which I have made so pagination option is also available for each user who is going to create his profile and post uh, you know some of the other posts on this website right then if suppose the user uh, has to come back on home page he can simply click on home and it will redirect uh, him to the home page right so this is how the website works for logging out uh, i can simply click here on log out so i have successfully logged out and let's log in again let's see if i can log in again or not in this website so yes i am log i'm able to log in into this website and i'm able to see all the posts which are present on this website now let's see if I, if we can just delete the post which some other person has posted so if i'll try to delete this test user post no i'm not able to do it right but i have been redirected to the page where i can see all the posts which this person has posted 
Now if I want to delete any post, let's say I want to delete this post. So I can simply click the post and then, you know, we'll see, uh, it will show us two options, update and delete. If you want to update the post, you can simply do it like this. Let's add this updated over here. And now if I will just click post, so you can see here new revolution has changed to new revolution updated. Similarly, if suppose I want to, okay, it's there on this home page also. Let's try to delete this post. So delete. Okay, are you sure you want to delete the post? Yes, delete the post please. Okay, so now the post which I just deleted is no more visible to us on the home page. So this is how the application works. You can post anything, you can delete or update the post also. You, uh, new users can create their profile, new users, users can register their profile, then they can use the website. Now let me just take you uh, to the code. So I've used VS Code uh, Editor for creating this application and these are all my applications and project files. Now uh, I created a project first. Let me just, okay, this is a project, Django underscore project. This is the name of my project. And then I, you know, configured the settings file with all the settings. Then I created all the necessary, uh, you know, there are two applications which I created inside this project. One with name users, which is actually controlling the uh, users, uh, you know, the person uh, who are registering on my website or who are going to register on my website. So that's what will be controlled by the code which I have put in these files, right? Then there is another uh, application which I created inside this project and its name is blog. So this is, these are the files which are actually controlling the HTML templates and uh, you know, uh, the posts which we are able to see or the which, which the users are able to see on my website. So everything related to posts will be controlled by blog application and everything related to user, whether it is registration part, login part will be controlled by the code, is controlled by the code by, uh, present in the files inside this user's named application. Now, if you have to, if you want to learn to develop this, this type of application, you can contact me on the number which is getting reflected in the on your screen right you can give me a call on the number you can also whatsapp me on uh, the number definitely i'm going to help you with the course with all the kind of queries you have in your mind there are other courses also which i'm providing for example there are courses related to mobile application development then there are courses related to react js web application development flask uh, web application development artificial intelligence machine learning so just go through my uh, you know youtube channel first pick the topics you want to study and definitely uh, you are going to find the best of the best tutorials over here on my channel and if you want to avail the coding classes you can contact me anytime on my number i'm there on whatsapp also on this below number so just keep in touch and just give me a call if you want to study these types of concepts and definitely they are going to help you a lot in your professional career thank you very much for joining me in this video have a great great day ahead bye bye and take care everybody